Hi everybody and welcome back. So this week it's another I've been shopping in the supermarket video because I know that you love them and I've had so many requests for Asda so I headed to Asda. On a side note, I do have my glasses on. I'm yet to get some contact lenses that fit me. Um, I basically got, it's called an astigmatism and I've been through four pairs of contact lenses now and none of them work. I've tried to do this video without my glasses on and although I can see all the packaging and things are blurry so I'm going to pop them on and I'm just really sorry if you occasionally see a green uh, reflection. If any of you can tell me how I can get rid of that then please let me know. Without further ado though I'll talk you through some items that I've been buying. I decided this time when I went to the supermarket not to buy much fresh stuff because I think I've covered that in my little Aldi and where else did I go? My Morrison's videos. So I've decided to do something slightly different for this video. So first up I headed to the milk section and that's because I know that Asda have got some new free from dairy milk alternatives. The one that I was out of stock that I really wanted to buy was the almond milk and that was the unsweetened one just because I love almond milk in coffee. If you've got a milk frother and if you don't have one I highly recommend getting one. I've seen them on sale in Lidl um, for 10-20 pounds. They're amazing. So what I do is when I'm making my coffee I basically add a bit of coffee and cocoa powder, some sweetener and then I fill it up to the top with frothy almond milk and it honestly tastes amazing. This one is their coconut with added vitamins and calcium. So in here you've got calcium, vitamin D and B12 as well. They also had uh, soy milk which was unsweetened and these are almost half the price of the branded versions. So um, I'll put actually the prices on screen so that you can see them all. Um, it's low in calorie, so yeah, if you're looking for a milk alternative, I personally have these in my smoothies, and then I have normal semi-skimmed milk in my teas if I'm having Earl Grey or a black tea. But yeah, really good option. Second up, I went to the confectionery aisle because I'm sure if you've been following my blog or channel for a while, you'll know that I love chocolate. The reason I wanted to shout out Asda in this video was because they have nearly all of the lint chocolate bars for sale. So this one is 90%. So if you've got a chocolate craving and want something really rich, I cannot recommend this one enough. If 90% is too bitter, then you can go 70%, 80%. The higher the percentage, it means more added cocoa and less added sugar. Last night, what I did actually, I broke up one of these pieces, well, I ate one, and then broke up the other one, and I popped it into a bottom of a latte glass, added a bit of um, boiling water to melt it, and then topped it up with my hot almond milk, and it honestly tasted amazing. So really delicious, healthy, um, lower sugar alternative to a hot chocolate. So yeah, love lint chocolate. So next up, I headed to the free from section, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Morrison's, because the other week I was in there, and instead of a free from section, well they do have that, they've also got a whole food section, which I much prefer because most of these snack bars, they're not just for people who are um, have got celiac disease, who can't eat gluten, you know, they're for everyone who just wants to eat a bit healthier. So, first up, I've mentioned these before on my channel are the Naked Bars. And the reason why I wanted to mention them is because of this flavour. I was actually presenting at the BBC Good Food show the other week and I got given one of these. It's the lemon drizzle, absolutely delicious. And the ingredients are dates, raisins, almonds, coconut, cashews and lemon. So really yummy. And this one, I actually picked this up by the till and this was the Bakewell tart. And this again is just delicious. It's dates, cashews, raisins and they've both got a hint of natural flavouring. So yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. Next up also from the free from section, I actually discovered these when I wasn't very well the other week and I wanted something that had, um, that was like quite substantial but a little bit chocolatey because I hadn't really eaten well for about a week. I gave myself food poisoning basically. Um, these are the Trek Cocoa Coconut Flapjacks. They are absolutely delicious. The main ingredients are oats. Then you just have some rice syrup and then some soya protein country, uh, countries, crunchies. Um, these just taste really, really yummy. So if you want a calorie controlled, high protein alternative to a flapjack, then definitely check these out. They say in the back, they're great for pre and post exercise on the go or with a cuppa. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of these and you get four in a pack. Um, and I'll pop the price down below as well. So there's two more products from the free from section. One um, wasn't new, but I normally pick these up in Holland and Barrett. They are quite expensive for what they are, but if you're wanting a treat, then these really are yummy. These are the Bounce Energy Balls, and this one is an almond protein hit. 
The main ingredient is almonds, so it's 29% almonds. These are just really, really yummy. I did actually try, I think, one of these that I wasn't too keen on. Um, I saw it by the Tills in Morrison's. I think it was spirulina or something. Um, it wasn't very nice, but this one really is yummy. And the next product is a new product, and it is so nice. Um, I've got to be careful not to empty it out. This is again from the Trek range, and it's the Toffee Triumph protein energy chunks. These are so yummy, honestly. They're like crunchy, yummy goodness. So it says one of your five a day. It's vegan, gluten, dairy free, protein packed. And the main ingredients are dates, cashews, soya, protein crunches, um, and a few other ingredients. But yeah, they're honestly amazing. And these are a bit like the naked nibbles, but bigger. So the next section I went to, which is a personal favorite of mine, mainly because I'm a bariatric dietitian. So after bariatric surgery, you need to follow quite a relatively higher protein diet um, so I'm always on the lookout for protein drinks and snacks one of the drinks I actually actually let's talk about that first these drinks I'd seen before and it wasn't until a patient this week came in with one and she said it really is delicious and it helps her to meet her protein needs this is protein water so this is the tropical flavor and as you can see I've tried some and it really is nice so if you're basically sick of milky products and you need a protein boost then I do actually really recommend these. So this was the tropical flavor, and this was the strawberry and pomegranate. Each of these contains 30 grams of protein in just 127 calories. So yeah, I'm really impressed with Asda. So onto the snack bars in that section. Um, I've tried quite a few from the Asda range. This is from, is it Skymix Nutrition? pro to go This is their strawberry cream and duo bar. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a healthier version of a chocolate bar I liken it to. Um, it is just over 200 calories. You're getting 24 grams of carbohydrate and protein wise you're getting 20 grams. So if you are working out then your protein needs will be increased. So this for me is just a yummy way of getting some protein in um, part way through the day. And yeah, these are like my little treats. Along the same lines, this is something that I discovered the other week and this is amazing. So this is from the Protein Works and it's called a truffle java cake friendly. This is like, um, it's a little bit like the bounce bars to be honest, but more chocolatey. So the ingredients is basically, it's mainly protein blends. So things like whey protein, um, and this is honestly yummy. So yeah, massive thumbs up to the protein works. The last proteiny uh, product is the Pro Max milk. So I've known about these for a while and these are brilliant because in the whole bottle there's 30 grams of protein. So again, following bariatric surgery or if you're trying to lose weight or if you've got increased protein needs thanks to exercising more, then this is a good way of getting your protein. What I will say is that the main ingredient is skim milk. So you don't need to buy these drinks. You could just buy some skimmed milk and flavor it yourself. But I personally just love the taste of these. So they're a great option for on the go, so less faff. But of course they're more expensive than drinking milk. Down the drinks aisle, so, I wouldn't class this as a health product. It's not a health product, but if you love fizzy drinks, then LucasAid have brought out a zero calorie range. This is pink lemonade and honestly, it tastes amazing. So for me, this is a healthy alternative to the full sugar pink lemonade. What I will say though, is that if you've got diabetes and if you're having a hypo, um, which is a blood glucose level of less than four, if you're on insulin or a tablet that causes um, hypos like glomepiride or glycoside, this isn't a hypo treatment. So um, a lot of people are getting confused between um, the full sugar, full glucose, leucosade, and the zero. Then actually leucosade are reformulating, so they're halving the amount of glucose per bottle. So actually people with diabetes need to treat their hypos with double the amount now. Um, I won't go into too much detail, I'll bore you. But anyway, zero calories leucosade, healthy alternative to the full sugar one. Um, and I absolutely love it. Sticking with the lower sugar theme, my last product, and I actually bought this for my fiance Oliver and we drank this together last night. This is a Fiji, so Oliver absolutely loves these and it's zero added sugar. So when I compared it, this actually contains half the amount of sugar in comparison to the full sugar ones. This is chocolate flavor and again, so it's one and a half percent milk with a bit of cocoa powder. So it's like an expensive version of chocolate milk basically, but it's great for on the go and yeah, it's really, really yummy. So I hope that you've enjoyed this really quick video. I'm actually going on a hen do this weekend. That's why I filmed this video quite fast and also my battery light is flashing at me. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.